Hi, my name is Brandon Grayson. I'm a high school computer science teacher, and I've got an app ready to go here where we are going to enter the coordinates for two different points and calculate the distance between them. So here's the user interface, uh, already finished with uh, two edit texts for point one and two edit texts for point two. And then we click here to calculate the distance, which will show up down here. Now, each of these edit texts is uh, from the palette over here. I'll show you. Click on text, scroll down, and then I chose number decimal, so I can type in any decimal value. Uh, we have one more thing to do, though, because a decimal number, if you were to try this, you can type in things like 5.4, but you can't type in negative 5.4. You can't type the negative sign here. So to fix that, let's go to the text view of the, um, of the layout file. Now, mine is up here in this version of Android Studio, but yours might be down here uh, in this area. You would click on text. So I click there. Uh, maybe I'll show both at the same time. So the first edit text, right there it says the input type is number decimal. Just hit the pipe key, which is shift and the backslash key, or just underneath your um, backspace key, and start typing number signed. I'm going to copy that and paste it for each of the other edit texts. So now each of these four edit text uh, fields or, or um, user interface components can now take decimal numbers and negative decimal numbers as well. Okay, let's go over to the main activity, the Java file. I've already made field variables for each of the user interface components that I'll be using, the four edit texts, which I've called x1, et, and so on, and then the text view for output, which is at the bottom of the screen down here, which uh, you can't really see right now. They've all been initialized using find view by ID in the onCreate method, and then I have a calculate distance method attached to my button. If any of that stuff is uh, new to you, you should go back and look at some of my other videos on how to set up a user interface. So to calculate the distance, we need to do a few things. We need to get the uh, strings from the user interface. Um, you notice I said strings and not numbers because the user interface doesn't really know that you're typing numbers, or rather it's storing only the string characters a uh, string of characters that you've typed, we're going to need to, need to convert the strings to, and we're going to use doubles, uh, doubles for like uh, decimal values. And I'm just going to say one more thing. We're going to try to convert those because the user might screw up and not type anything at all, in which case we don't have a number. Um, if we're successful at converting, calculate the distance, and display it. And if we fail, we can't convert it. In our case, it's because the user did not type a value in at all. Uh, if we fail, display uh, an error message. And especially, we do not want to crash. So we'll have to handle that. OK, so let's first start by getting the strings from the user interface. The edit text user interface components each have a string inside of them. And we need to grab those strings to use them. So I'm going to make a list of string variables that we're going to use. You don't have to do it this way. I'm going to show you another way in a moment. Uh, I'm going to have x1 string, y1 string, x2 string, y2 string. And each of those, are going to, we're going to fill those up right now. x1 string becomes equal to, we'll go to the x1 edit text and retrieve the value from there. Now, if I call the get text method, it gives us an editable object. It does not give us a string. So just calling that will not work. You can see here we'll get an error it's saying we're expecting a string but we're getting an editable object. Not good enough. We need to convert that to a string with its own to string method. We'll do that for each of these. So I'm just going to edit as I go here. This is going to be y2 and this one's going to be x2 just change each one. Oops. Let's go x2 and y2. Okay, so each one of them is going to get it's the string from the right user interface component. These are strings now. We're going to try to convert them to doubles. Now to do this, we're going to need a new bit of code called a try block. So a try block will attempt to accomplish something and if it's successful, 
great. And if it's unsuccessful, it will run some other alternate code. So we'll start by putting the try block opening there. And we're going to end the try block here after the we're successful bit. And then if we fail, that's where we're going to have a catch block. I'm going to complete this in just a moment. So this is unfinished right now. We're going to have to put some stuff in there. This code will run if we fail to convert any one of the four numbers. Let's try to convert them though first, and then we'll go down to the catch block. So how do we do this? We're going to make some doubles. Uh, we're going to need one for x1, y1, x2, and y2. Let's fill them up. x1 becomes equal to, well, I want to convert x1 string into a double. To do that, we use the double classes parse double method. It takes a string as a parameter. You can see right there, the string is x1 string. That will try to convert it. If it's successful, we're going to continue on to the next line of code. If it is unsuccessful, everything here is, uh, we skip all of that, and we hop down and run whatever code is inside the catch block. y1 is double dot parse double y1 string. And we're going to do the same thing for the twos. x2, y2 x2 oops, string, and here y2, oops, y2 string. Okay, those are all done. If everything has been good, we're ready to print out uh, a value. If it's not good, we're going to have to catch and display that error message. Well, let's do the calculation first. Distance. Let's make a double for that. And it will become equal to well, here's the calculation that we need to do. Ready? This is on white. Ooh, very bright. I'm sorry. Square root of the difference in the x values squared plus the difference in the y values also squared. Take the square root of that whole thing. To do that, math.sqrt, it takes a double as input. So in here, we're going to need to type, have to type the um, x2 minus x1 squared bit. So let's start with that. x2 minus x1. Now, you might be used to something like this for squaring. That's not what we're going to do here. That's the wrong kind of operator. That's not the squaring operator. In Java, you have to use the pow, math.power function. Instead, it's just easier to do this. Do the same calculation, x2 minus x1 times x2 minus x1. To that, we're going to add the difference in the y values. And to square it, type the same thing again, y2 minus y1. All of that is inside of the square root function. So there's the distance now. Let's output it to the screen. Output dot set text. The distance is, and for now we're just going to type distance, and we'll come back and improve that in a, in a little bit. Let's go catch our problems. What are we catching? A number format exception, and we'll give it a name, NFE. A number format exception happens when one of these strings is not really a double or doesn't look like one, isn't formatted as a double, and then you try to turn it into one. Uh, and this happens with other similar kinds of um, uh, operations. You can even make these happen if you're just not happy with the kind of number somebody typed in. For example, if you weren't allowed to have negative numbers, that kind of thing, you can make your own number format exception happen. As soon as, let's say, y1 was not formatted correctly, once that happens, it, it quits and does not do any of this code, hops down immediately to this line of code right here, which is going to be output.setText. Please enter values for each coordinate. And we'll finish with that. Okay, so our app is running pretty well now. Let's go check it out. All right, so ready to type in our coordinates. Uh, let's try something that we know. From 0, 0 to 3, 4 should be exactly a distance of 5. Looks great. Let's try to change one of those. Ooh, that is a lot of decimal points. So let's go back and try to improve that. Actually, well, before we do that, one more. What if the two points are the same point? 3, 5 and 3, 5. The distance is 0. Okay, well, let's work on trying to improve. Um, <laughs> I keep putting in uh, numbers that work out here. Let's try to improve this issue. So right now, we are outputting this value, distance. Now, what happens here with this plus operator, which is the concatenate operator, 
Um, what's really happening is this string dot value of distance is happening. The string class is converting that double into a string as best it can, but we didn't tell it any like uh, rules or parameters for how to do that. So we can do that by using the format method instead. It takes a, a string, which I'll show you in a second, as a parameter as well as the value that you want to have formatted. The format string is, it's kind of arcane, but it explains to Java how to do the formatting. What we'll do is this, uh, percent and then the decimal point 3f. That'll put three floating point decimal points after the decimal place. So if we do exactly the same thing now with this format method doing our uh, conversion of the double back to a string, we'll see something good. Okay, zero, zero, three, and I think we did five. Okay, it's rounded it off. That's cool. Maybe I'll say the distance is approximately that much. Now I'm thinking about a problem that might happen. What if we do something like this? Ooh, that's getting small. Ooh, very small. What if I did this? Hmm, the distance between these two points isn't really zero. What I think I would like to do is say, if the distance is very small, I want to use more decimal points. So let's put an if statement in here that says, if the distance is very small, hmm, let's say something like less than 0 0.1, hmm, but this isn't good enough. This will also give us negative values, like negative 5 is less than 0 0.1. So let's say the distance is less than, negative, less than 0 0.1, and that same distance is greater than negative 0.1. So this will be like 0, 0.0 something. Then we're going to want to print out something a little bit different. Otherwise, we can do what we've been doing so far. So what would we print out that's different? Well, exactly the same thing, except we're going to format the string differently. Let's use maybe six decimal places instead. So if we put in something normal-ish, there's a normal distance, but if I put in something very small, let's try, uh, is that going to be small enough? Not quite. <laughs> there, now those are quite close, and so the, uh, the distance is very, very small here, and we end up with six decimal places. Okay, so if things are close, we get lots of decimal places. If they're further away, we don't get so many. All right, that's what we were looking for. So I think that's all done now. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks a lot.